Hello everyone, on this video I will let you know how to get started with your AI by voice kit and at the end of this video you will successfully be able to talk with your cardboard box and even ask the questions like Ok Google, who is Techie SMS? Techie SMS aka Sachin Sony is a tech YouTuber and a tech blogger who used to upload project tutorials on electronics, IoT and automation. So let's get started. First of all, you'll need a SD card and a SD card reader. First, download and install this app called SD Card Formatter to format your SD card. After you successfully format this card, you need to download an image for our EIY voice kit. Now here, I stuck for the first time because the image I downloaded were having some issues and I was not able to rectify that errors. So in this video, I will let you know which image you are supposed to download. First, as mentioned in the AIY voice kit guide, you will need to download the latest version of the image from this website. But in my case, it didn't work out. I downloaded the latest image and flashed it into my SD card with the help of this app called Etcher. In this app, you need to first select the image downloaded, then select the SD card port and click on the flash button. After flashing the latest image, when I booted the Raspberry Pi, it was showing the errors of driver not installed. I even tried to install the driver but still I didn't get success in this. I was totally sucked up. So next day, I tried installing the earlier version of the image. I googled AIY voice kit and down below, I found one link which has the previous version of this voice kit image. The link of this is attached in the description below. I downloaded the image and burned it into the SD card by the same process. And now when I booted up my Raspberry Pi, everything was working perfectly fine. So I'll suggest you to go for the image whose link is attached in the description of this video. Okay, so now as we successfully booted up our device, let's start the process. First, we need to give our Raspberry Pi access to internet and for that, first we will configure our Wi-Fi network and test it by running the script called check Wi-Fi. Okay, so it shows Wi-Fi connection seems to be working. Great. Now we will test the speaker and mic by running the script called check audio. Front, center. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay, so both mic and speakers are working perfectly. Now let's just configure our Google Assistant. For that, Open up the browser in the Raspberry Pi and go to console.cloud.google.com. Now here, you need to log in with your Google account and if you don't have one, then you need to first create it. After logging to your account, you'll observe this window. Now click here and click on this plus button to create a new project. Sorry, the video went out of focus, but you just simply need to write a random project name. In my case, I have written Google AI by voice kit. After that, you need to click here again and select the project you just created. Okay, so we are inside the project now. Now we will go to API and service section and we'll click on this enable API and services. Here in the search bar, we'll search for Google Assistant and will enable that API. After that, we'll go to this credentials section. Click on create credentials and then select the OAuth client ID. Here, we will click on this configure consent screen and will type a random name. In my case, I will write AIY voice kit here. Click save. Now here on the application type, we will select other and give a random name which can be AI by voice kit. Now click on this create button. Now here you need to download this credential file and open up the folder where it is downloaded. We need to rename this file with assistant.json. 
After that, we need to move this file here to home slash pi folder. For the last step, you need to go to myaccount.google.com slash activity controls. Now here, you need to make sure that all these activities are enabled, which in my case was already enabled. So we are done with the configuration. So let's just play with our assistant now. Go to desktop and click on the start dev terminal. Now here is a hint to run one sample program. So let's just begin with this example only. Pressing enter, it will redirect you to a web browser asking permission of using Google Assistant through our account. So choose your account and click on allow. So you are ready to play. Hey Google, what's the temperature outside? In Ahmedabad right now, it's 43. Okay Google, who is the president of India? The president of India is Ram Nath Kavand. Okay, Google. What's the age of Prime Minister of India? Narendra Modi is 67 years old. Likewise, we have one other example which will replace this trigger keyword OK Google to press off the button. So let's just run that example. What is 7 multiplied by 25? The answer is 175. Roll a dice. Coming right up. It's a 1. So yeah, this is it about this video. I hope this video will prove helpful to everyone who wants to configure the AIY voice kit. If yes, then give a big thumbs up to this video. Now in the next part of the series, I will try to cover some projects or applications of this AIY voice kit. So that video will be really very interesting. So yeah, subscribe my channel to learn more interesting projects related to electronics, IoT automation and yes about the AIY kits also. So wait for my next video until then explore and share with me Techie SMS.